crafters will compete to make the best marshmallow catapult. Craft sticks, rubber bands, tape, lots and lots of marshmallows. Will it pass or will it fail? Catch it, check it, change it. You can catch any thought you have, and you can check it with what God says is right and true. If you're not sure, just ask Him. Then, if your thought doesn't match what God says, let Him help you change it. Catch it, check it, change it. Get on your feet and find a partner. It's time to play Stick Together. Watch to see what the dice land on. The first dice will tell you which body parts to use, and the second dice will tell you what shape you and a friend will make when you stick together. When the dice stop rolling, you start moving. Here we go! Feet in square. You and a friend use your feet to make a square together before the dice start rolling again. Hands and heart. Put your hands together to make a heart before the dice start rolling again. Arms in circle. Stick your arms together with a friend to make a circle before the dice roll one more time. Hands in square. Use your hands to make a square. Good game, everyone. Stay standing for a song. Don't live the way the world lives. Don't live the way the world lives. Let your way of thinking be completely changed. Don't live the way the world lives. Don't live the way the world is Let your way of thinking be completely changed I can think, I can use my mind To think about what is good, think about what is right I can think, I can honor God With my every thought, He is all I want the way the world lives Don't live the way the world lives Let your way of thinking be completely changed Don't live the way the world lives Don't live the way the world lives Let your way of thinking be completely changed I can think I can use my mind To think about what is good Think about what is right I can think I can honor God With my every thought He is all I want Do this think that The world has got a lot to say Our God says that The way we think has got to change Catch it, check it See what God has got to say let him change it You see there is no better way There is no better way Don't live the way the world is Don't live the way the world is Let your way of thinking be completely changed Don't live the way the world is Don't live the way the world is Let your way of thinking be completely changed don't live the way the world lives Don't live the way the world lives Let your way of thinking be completely changed Completely changed Great job! You can take a seat. Think about who you're listening to. Let me tell you about the time God helped me catch my thoughts. 
It all started when Blake asked me to come over to his house after school and play video games. We played our favorites, and it was awesome. Blake told me about this new game that had zombies and aliens and epic superheroes rolled into one mega game. But his grandma said he had to earn the money to pay for it. Blake was only about $10 short, and his grandma always keeps some extra money in her purse. Blake said he needed me to distract her while he snatched it off the kitchen counter. I really wanted him to get the money for the game, so we started thinking of a plan. And that's when I got a weird feeling in my stomach and started wondering if any of this was a good idea. My mind was racing. Even though Blake really wanted to steal the money, I stopped and asked God what I should do. He helped me check my thoughts with what he says in the Bible by reminding me the verse that says, Don't live the way the world lives. I knew I needed to listen to God and not what Blake was saying to me. So I told him it was wrong to steal the money and to be so sneaky. I was glad God helped me catch, check, and change my thoughts so I could do what was best and not something I would regret later. Exercise your brain by shouting out the answers to some brain teasers. What is black or brown and sounds like a cat? A bat. How many seconds are in a year? 12. January 2nd, February 2nd, March 2nd, you get it. What has a ring but no finger? The planet Saturn. I was thinking. About a story in the Bible? Yep. Nailed it. Give me a hint. Um, okay. Well, off the top of my head, this story has a lot of names that start with the letter B. Hmm. Benjamin? Bartholomew? Barnabas? Belteshazzar? Baby Jesus? Um, no, none of those, but I'm impressed. The guy I was thinking of was named Balaam, and his story teaches us a lot about our thoughts. Balaam, huh? What's up with him? So Balaam was a prophet. Oh, oh, this I know. He was getting those texts straight from the big guy himself. Kinda. Prophets got messages from God to give to his people, but not text messages. And to really understand Balaam's story, we've got to start with Balak. Who? Balak. He was a king. So sweet! Living that palace life. And I'm tracking with that bee thing now. God's people were moving near the king's property, and he got worried that they might start to take over. Always worried about an invasion, am I right? Hashtag king probs. Oh boy. I guess so. King Balak sent some of his men to see Balaam and asked him to put a curse on God's people. A curse like... May you get the hiccups for 500 days straight. Or may a bee fly into your mouth while you're skateboarding. Whoa, harsh. Not exactly, but it's safe to say King Balak wasn't wanting good things for God's people. He even offered Balaam money in exchange for putting a curse on them. King Balak making it rain. Balaam wanted the money, but he told the king he would ask God first if he could do this and God told him not to do what the king was asking. Um, could have told you God wasn't gonna go for that, King B. Right? When Balaam sent back a no, the king sent more important men with even more money to ask him again. Give it up, man, it's not gonna happen. Oh, dude, he was just getting started. So Balaam asked God if he could do it again. This time, God told Balaam to go back with the men to see King Balak. Load up the car. Road trip. More like load up the donkey. And Balaam did just that. But what he didn't know was that God was sending an angel to go against Balaam on his journey. Oof, poor Balaam. The crazy part is that Balaam couldn't see the angel. Only his donkey could. So the donkey moved three times to avoid the angel while they were traveling. And each time he did, Balaam hit the donkey for not going the way he wanted him to. Not cool, dude. What'd he ever do to you? That's what the donkey said. Yeah, that's what the donkey said. Wait, what? The donkey said that? Yep, you heard that right. The donkey talked. Whoa, like in the movies? Mm Mm-hmm. So that's when God allowed Balaam to see the angel for the first time. He told the angel he would turn around if he wasn't doing what he was supposed to do. But the angel told him to keep going with the king's men, but to only say what the angel told him to say. Talking donkeys? Angels? I bet Balaam was like, sir, yes, sir. Aye, aye, Capitan. 
When Balaam arrived, King Balak was very happy to see him. Yay. Welcome to the palace, my man. So the king took Balaam up to the hilltop to look out at God's people. And guess what the king asked Balaam to do? Let's see. Easy. To curse the people. No, no. You got it. He seriously won't take no for an answer. Balaam talked to God and did what God said, blessing the people instead of cursing them. Okay, okay. Surely King B is waving that white flag now, right? Nope. He tried two more times, but Balaam still wasn't letting the thoughts of the king's money get in the way of listening to God. Wahoo! Give me knuckles, Balaam. Not so fast. It was great that he chose to listen to God at that time. But later on, the thoughts of that money kept creeping in and getting bigger and bigger. Balaam over there dreaming of a mansion with stables, diamond studded jet skis, and a bowling alley with golden pins. Um, not sure exactly what he wanted, but he got sneaky with his curse plan. Instead of cursing God's people himself, he started convincing the people to worship things other than God. Balaam's life like, skirt! Major U-turn. Yeah, so God punished his people for how they disobeyed, and Balaam was the mastermind behind it all. And joining all the famous villains in the Wickedness Hall of Fame is Balaam. Dude, it's so sad, right? Balaam went from listening to God to letting his thinking completely change in the wrong direction. Seriously, not cool, B. Balaam's story helps us see just how important it is to keep our thoughts focused on who we should listen to. There are lots of things out there that can tempt us to do the wrong thing, but choosing to listen to God above everything and everyone else will lead to what's best. It won't always be easy, but it will always pay off when we think about who we're listening to. Think about who you're listening to. Everybody get on your feet. It's time to sing. Great job! You can take a seat. Memorizing verses from the Bible will help us remember what God says when we're checking our thoughts. Let's see if we can memorize this verse from Romans 12, 2 together. Say this after me. Don't live the way the world lives. Let your way of thinking be completely changed. then you will be able to test what God wants for you. And you will agree that what he wants is right. Romans 12, 2. 
Now let's see if you can remember it after we cover up some words. Don't live the way the... Don't live the way the world lives. Let your way of thinking be completely... Let your way of thinking be completely changed. Then you will be able to... Then you will be able to test what God wants for you. And you will... And you will agree that what he wants is right. Romans 12, 2. Way to go! Recap what we've learned today in exactly 10 words. No more, no less. Think. About. Who. You. Are. Listening. To. On. Fridays. Yeah! <laughs> listening. To. A. Talking. Donkey. Is. Weird. But. So. Cool! Yeah! yeah! What my friends say doesn't always match what God says. Yes! yes. <laughs> Pray and listen to what God says about celebrities and miniature motorcycles. That's 12. It's all right. <laughs> Think about who you're listening to. Today has been so much fun. But before you guys go, bow your heads, close your eyes, and pray with me. Heavenly Father, you have all of the wisdom we need to do what is right. Forgive us when we listen to our friends, ourselves, and the world around us more than we listen to you. Help us to catch our thoughts and check them with what is true. Please change our thoughts to what you say is best. We love you. Amen.